And again, a time where New Zealand are going to have to build. Four runs, ball has gone short. Cut shot there from Williamson. He just cut the ball, four runs. Dropped it shot, rocked onto the back foot. Good shot. This one's gone in between the two fielders and uh, unable to stop that either. So back-to-back -back boundaries for Williamson and uh, good batting. The one was short on the offside. He cut that for four and this one pulled it hard between the two fielders on the square leg boundary. But they need to uh, keep those wickets in hand to allow for a big finish. That's uh, terrible fielding again by Zimbabwe. The backing up wasn't good. And what uh, should have just been an easy little single has turned into three. Three deliveries. Oh, he's got away with that. So very unlucky, Meth. And uh, to tend to Taibu, he's quick. And you probably find that most fielders, that would have been four. He's been a great four for Ross Taylor. Malcolm Waller out at mid-wicket. Uh, that's not a great effort. It really isn't. He got there and just parried it into the boundary. Oh, and uh, the wicket keeper's been sent the wrong way. It uh, was an awful delivery from uh, Nube on his comeback, and it's hit something on the pitch and just done the wicket keeper. Yeah, I think it's hit the footmarks at the other end. Looks like it was going way down the leg side, hit the foot marks, and then you can see almost like a leg spinner. Keeper had no chance. So five more runs to the New Zealand total. This one he will get away, and for four. So uh, great way to bring up uh, your 50, and a great knock from Kane Williamson. Short delivery from Nube, and uh, smashed just behind square for four. Waller had no chance. Yeah, Williamson's been impressive today. It's only his fifth boundary, but every opportunity he has to put the ball away to the fence, he's taken it. 53 off just 45 balls. Bang. He smashed that, and I'm not sure Waller's going to cut that off. He won't. So, a uh, bit of length, and Williamson now into the act. He was watching from the other side when uh, Ross Taylor was smashing the other bowlers around. It's now his turn. Yeah, I'm not sure if length is the best option at this time of the innings. And then Williamson shows you why. Any opportunity to get under it or hit through it. And he's hitting it so well at the moment. Lost five overs. Could be. And that's time, Shangwei. To continue. Yeah, that'll be four. Lovely shot. Just gave himself a hint of room. And the man on the sweeper boundary is posted very square. Once he got it, pop boundary, quick outfield. And got to the boundary for four. So it's a. Uh, Kane Williamson, who now makes sure that this fifth wicket stand is a new record on this ground. Let's put him down. Caught and bowl chance. It was hit pretty solidly. It's confirmation of that partnership. 141, Taylor and Kane Williamson. And a superb one it has been. Just a hint of turn from Shangui. That's enabling him. Yeah, uh, trying to bowl the Yorker, and it's, uh, well, a tummy high full toss, and he's able to scoop around the corner, we will get a boundary, it's a no ball, and we will have to re-bowl it. And it's these errors that are going to cost Zimbabwe in the end, I reckon. Yeah, at six. That's a superb piece of timing. Again, Keegan Meth missing his length. Not able to get it up in the block hole. And Kane Williamson down on one knee, hits it over mid-wicket for the maximum. You could hear straight away as it left the bat that that was going way over mid-wicket, and that's exactly what it did. Keegan Myth, for some reason, just can't get it up in the block hole. Boy, oh boy, is he paying the price. Yeah, yeah that'll be four. Big gap between mid-wicket and mid-on. And again, not finding his length. Keegan Myth. And Kane Williamson down on one knee again. Gets it away for four. That's over a third man. And umpire Churombe has got the arm out, so he's going to signal the no ball. 
adjudicating that to be over hip height. And this is not the end to the innings that Zimbabwe would have wanted. They got rid of Ross Taylor. And with two balls remaining, well, he's created an opportunity that's been put down. And Jabula Nubo, Nube, because he's bowled a second no ball, that means he can't bowl again in the innings. Luckily for Zimbabwe, that it's only one ball that needs to be completed. But those are the laws of the game. Is that if you bowl two no balls, that means you cannot bowl in the innings again. And luckily, as I said, it's at the back end of the innings. This is uh, evidence of it being above waist high. Clearly was. Third man up in the circle. One ball to bowl to complete the Zimbabwe innings. Uh, over mid-off. And we'll clear to tender tie boot. Not a whole heap. They're going to come back for three. And we'll get there running. Really, really good running. And uh, Kane Williamson, with that, will get to his 100. And I think he's made it. He definitely wanted the three, got it over mid-off. Everyone's applauding. They reckon he's made it. It's been referred upstairs. Very exciting end to this New Zealand innings. There's to tender Taibu, picking it up and gets it in. He made his mind out that he was going for three. And will he make it? Yes, he will. And that'll be a terrific 100 from Kane Williamson. He came in under a bit of pressure. There's the green light. There's the confirmation. And uh, he'll end up scoring an even 100 of just 69 deliveries at a strike rate of just under 150. That is a magnificent hat from Kane Williamson. Really is. Just when his country needed him, he's come in and played an absolute blinder. And applause from all his teammates and why not?